right guys welcome back to the channel so um this video is gonna be more of a my perspective on owning a manual f80 so it's been a while since i've talked about this car and i will do a review later on um, but today i wanted to get into the nitty-gritty about exactly uh, what it's like to own a manual f80 because i would say the majority of the f80 owners out there and f82 f83 owners a majority of them are going to be dct owners um, there's nothing wrong with dct um, there's pros and cons on both sides but, all right so i'm going to take you guys along my day uh, i got some errands to run so first thing i had to do is go to the gym uh, get a quick workout i got my pre-workout right here um, after that i gotta go grocery shopping and a whole bunch of stuff but in between that i'm gonna explain to you guys exactly what my thought process is of owning a manual f80 and and how it's been for me so with that being said let's get to let's get this going and um go from there so just a little background if you guys are new to this channel my name is kenneth i own a 2018 austin yellow manual f80 and backstory behind this this has always been uh, one of my dream cars um, there's always a dream of mine to own a manual uh, m3 so a little backstory I've been driving manual vehicles since I was 17 years old um, I'm 31 now so definitely you can say I've had a lot of years uh, behind the wheel um, with the manual gearbox but I feel comfortable behind a manual gearbox it's always something I I wanted to drive I'm gonna let the car warm up until I kind of get on it but so owning a manual vehicle is very rewarding for me rewarding what do you mean by rewarding so um, just feeling connected with the gearbox you know like as I go through the gears and I'm on fourth gear I'm just cruising and it's something that keeps me engaged while I'm driving whether it's in traffic or whether it's actually you know just going to the supermarket going to the gym it makes it fun um, don't get me wrong there's some times where it, it gets out of hand where there's so much traffic and you're going back and forth on first gear or getting off the clutch so like I said I've been driving a, a manual vehicle since I was 17 years old and my first vehicle was a uh, automatic I had a Mazda 3 the second vehicle I had was a um, WRX it was a Hawkeye I believe it was a 2006 had that that's where I really kind of learned how to drive manual um, and then my next manual vehicle was a 2014 uh, 335 X drive it had a uh, M sport package uh, six-speed manual and it was a great car that was a great platform that really got me into BMWs and then today I have a 2018 F80 M3 in uh, six-speed so when I mentioned of how it's it gets you engaged and it gets you connected to the vehicle. Um, for me, there's there's always a saying, there's nothing like driving a manual gearbox, ripping through the gears, and and when you're just cruising, obviously not in traffic, but when you're just cruising on the highway or just cruising to, um, you know, going to our own road trips, it's nice to rip through the gearbox. And most of the time, if you live in an area where it's not so dense, like a city area, if you live like, um, say middle of Ohio where it's like in the countryside or if you live central or north Florida where it's kind of empty um, you're, you're, you're gonna have minimal traffic and you're gonna be going through those gears or just staying in sixth gear so one of the questions I've been asked a few times is like what do you think about um, F80 M3 or the F8X platform in a manual me personally I love it I couldn't see myself driving this vehicle in any other way um, and here's my thought process behind it driving the car on a daily basis or you know running errands it's fun for me you know ripping through the gears going through the first second and third and most of the time I'm on like first to fourth on local roads and obviously on the highway you get to reach the sixth gear but um it's fun you know it's, it's a great it's a great gearbox um, some of the things I like about the characteristics of a BMW uh, manual vehicle is the clutch the clutch is very forgiving. It's not overly stiff, where when you're driving it, it's, it's a pain to, to release off the clutch. I think it's a great platform where you can learn, um, but would I suggest you to learn on an M3 where you don't know how to drive manual? Probably not, 
because it will get expensive if you burn that clutch. And there's reasons why it's fun. So just, just right there, just doing a couple pulls here and there, uh, it's, it's a blast. All right, so I just got to the gym. I'm gonna check in with you guys after I get out. I'm gonna discuss a little bit more exactly the, some of the pros and also some of the cons of owning a manual F80. Um, but besides that, I'll check in with you guys then. drive up and down A1A and give you my thoughts because I do have to run some more errands later on. Um, I got stopped by Home Depot, ended up getting a newer dishwasher a few weeks ago. And long story short, um, ended up getting a dishwasher from a, a company that I'm not gonna say, and it came up cracked. So when I hooked it up myself, um, all the water was leaking out of it, so it was a mess. But um, besides that, I gotta go to Home Depot, pick up that um, extension cord to connect it because the one that came with it, it it's not long enough to connect to the port so so going back into the drivability of this f80 m3 in a six-speed manual is that this vehicle has auto rev match so auto rev match in the beginning when i first heard about it i thought it was like oh no it's for people that don't know how to drive manual um and it's i didn't like it in the beginning but to be honest, after driving this car for two and a half years, the auto rev mesh is, is pretty is pretty legit. It's, it's amazing. Um, it's great to get your downshifts exactly smooth. So what I like about the auto rev mesh is that it's great. It's great for downshifting. Um, you're never gonna have to over rev or under rev um, when you wanna match up the, the gear ratios when you go into a, a lower gear. For example, I'm on third right now. I'm gonna throw it into second. And normally in a regular manual car, you're gonna have to hit the accelerator to get it to the, the certain RPMs where the speed wise you're going matches up with it. So hopefully I explained that correctly because I'm trying to drive and we're at the beach right now. I don't wanna like run anybody over. But like I said, going into third again, I'm in third, going into second, Going into second, I don't need to rev it to match up to the RPMs where it should be uh, based on the speed. So all I need to do is hit the clutch down and just throw it into second. The car automatically revs it to the particular RPM it needs. So that, when I first got it, was pretty interesting. Uh, like I said, my thought process going into it was like, I don't like it. I think it's, it's a cheat. But to be honest, it's been making you know, shifting, downshifting a lot more smoother. I will say auto rev match does turn off when I go into Sport Plus. Uh, Sport Plus for me, if I hit M2 twice, it goes into that mode. And the way I have it set up is Sport Plus on my throttle response, my suspension, and also my steering. And do I really drive Sport Plus all the time? Absolutely not. Right now I'm going into, going into second, just rev match myself. And all you, have, all you have to do is just basically rev it to the certain RPM where it matches up with the speed. All right, so hopefully this GoPro, I just switched it from the windshield and switched it right over here. Um, hopefully you guys can kind of see that and maybe that would look, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, auto rev match, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So I will say, when compared to other transmissions like PDK with the Porsches, DCT with the BMWs, um, and automatics, um, those transmissions are are faster. There's the faster and superior compared to a manual transmission. But for enthusiasts like myself, and I'm sure some of you guys are watching, um, that you clicked on this thumbnail, it, it's it's so much more engaging, which I you know kind of explained earlier, and it's so much fun for me. Um, and I will say you're part of a more of an exclusive. I would say exclusive, but another word would be. A dying breed, a dying breed of people that are able to and willing to learn how to drive manual because there's a lot of people out there, and I'm not gonna call you guys out that um, you guys don't even know what to do with the clutch, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's not your fault. And I'm all right, so going back into the M2, so right now I'm M2, I'm going into third gear, I'm in third gear right now. 
let's just say I'm gonna slow down, I'm, I wanna get my RPMs up, or I'm gonna go into second. Okay, so let's just say that, so I'm going to a light, I'm gonna, I'm gonna downshift. I basically revved myself to the RPM that I needed to match the speed, and then I threw it into second. If you were going to third into second with that rev matching, you're gonna mess up your transmission. You're gonna feel it, you're gonna feel the jerk, and it is not healthy for the transmission or motor um, and any other components on the vehicle. So there's probably many vi uh, videos out there where it teaches you how to rev match or, or you know the science behind it. So definitely look those up. Um, but I will say that it's it's something to get used to. And every car, some it's, it's it's different because their gear ratios are different. So, but like I said, this car is so easy to drive in, in my standards because I've been driving it since I was 17, uh, manual wise. I will say one of the big pros about this, and I don't think my fiance is gonna see this, but it prevents her from driving it. If you guys could, could relate to some of my uh, opinions about driving manual, let me know in the comments. If you guys oppose to some of my opinions, let me know in the comments too. So, all right, another pro is that if I were, I'm gonna keep this car for a while, if I were to ever sell it, ever to sell it, um, it becomes more rare. Uh, meaning because, like I said early in the video, there's a lot more DCT uh, F8X uh, vehicles out there compared to a manual transmission. So, all right, so I'm gonna talk about some of the, the, the cons about it. Some of the cons about it is that, there's really not, uh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. There are some cons about it. So as of right now, if I was stuck on I-95, which is the highway, and stuck in bumper to bumper traffic. After a while, it does get annoying. It does get annoying and it does get monotonous, um, especially if you've been on your feet all day. That's the last thing you wanna do. But I think I rambled enough about my experience and my thoughts of um, having a manual vehicle. If you guys have any uh, inputs, like I said, throw, you know, throw some comments or throw some questions. I'll be happy to answer it. Um, but besides that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm willing to die for this shit. I'm ready to flip and I end up in prison the rest of my life for this shit. So my mama ain't want me, she got in a bush and I end up surviving this shit. And if I want to sign, I ain't got the money, I'll probably be robbing this shit. Don't know how much I cry for this shit. Said I'm willing to die for this shit. You know murder's my hobby inside of my closet, a bunch of dead bodies.